Part 6, Quadrilaterals. You will find this on page 172 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 9 textbook Y equals MX plus C to 6s. Quadrilaterals just means four sides. Quad means four, lateral means side. A quadrilateral has four sides, four vertices and has four interior angles. It is two-dimensional, a flat shape. Closed, the lines join up and has straight sides, straight lines. The figures below show six special quadrilaterals. What do they have in common? In what ways are they different? So, this is a square, this is a rectangle, this is a kite, this is a rhombus, this is a parallelogram, and this is a trapezium. Can you see in common, all of them have four sides and four angles. But there are differences. So that we will look at as soon as we come to each and every one's individual properties. The figure on the right shows a quadrilateral PQRS. PQRS. A quadrilateral is named by the vertices either in a clockwise or anti-clockwise direction. Hence, P, Q, R, S, or uh, Q, R, Q, R, S, P, or R, S, P, Q, or S, P, Q, R, or P, S, R, Q, anticlockwise, S, R, Q, P, and R, Q, P, S. All that ways are correct. And are correct ways of naming the quadrilateral, but P, Q, S, R, did you see? P, Q, jump, S, R, not correct, or R, Q, S, P, no, not correct. The line segment S, Q that joins the opposite sides S and Q is a diagonal of the quadrilateral P, Q, R, S. You can also form a diagonal between P and R. Each quadrilateral has two diagonals. The other one will be formed between P and R. The sum of the interior angles of a quadrilateral can be calculated in the following way. If we look at the two triangles, then A plus B plus C will be 180 degrees. And D plus E plus F will also be 180 degrees. So the sum of the interior angles of a quadrilateral PQRS is the 180 plus the other triangles 180, and that will give me a sum total of 360. So the sum of the interior angles of a quadrilateral is always 360. Okay, let's look at the properties. As I read it, I'm just going to mark it again in the sketch. So let's start by a square with a square. It has two pairs of parallel sides. Can you see? Parallel, parallel. Okay. It has four, it, its four sides are equal. Equal. It has four right angles. Can you see? Right angles. Okay. Its two diagonals are equal in length and bisect each other. So it means that this one is just as long as this one, and it bisects. So it means that this part is just as long as this part is just as long as this part is just. So all four of this parts will be equal length. Okay, and that's what I explained there. The diagonals bisect at right angles. So where they intersect, bisect, there's a 90 degree angle, and all the way around. Okay. Diagonals bisect the interior angles. So basically, it's just meaning that this angle is just as big as this angle. This one is as big as this one. This one is as big as this one. This one is this. And because it's 90, you will say 90 divided 2. So every one of that angles will be 45 degrees. Okay. Then if I look at the rectangle, let's start with the rectangle. It has two pairs of parallel sides, the same, parallel, parallel. 
its opposite sides are equal. Not all the sides, only the opposite sides. It has four right angles. Its two diagonals are equal in length. So this one is just as long as this one. Okay. That one is not so nice. Let's rather try to draw it better. Okay. Um, its diagonals are equal in length and bisect each other. So it's meaning this one is as long as this one, as long as this one, as long as this one. Okay. But the angles do not intersect, the diagonal, the diagonals do not intersect with 90 degrees. So that's already also a difference. Okay, let's look at the next one. Now, if I take a square and I push it a little bit, I'm getting a rhombus. Now, again, it has two pairs of parallel sides, the same. Parallel, parallel. Its four sides are equal, just like the square. Its opposite angles are equal. This is a very important property. So if this one is 60, this one will be 60. And if this one is 120, then this one will be 120. Okay, so the opposite angles are equal. The diagonals bisect each other at right angles, just like the square. There's a 90, there's a 90, there's a 90, there's a 90. Okay, the diagonals the diagonals bisect the interior angles. So basically, it's just saying it's not 45, 45, but this angle will be as big as this angle, this angle as big as this one, this one is this one, this one is this one. Okay, so it bisect that angle. Now, but if this angle is the same as this one, say it's 60, then this will be 30, 30, 30, 30. Okay. The diagonal bisect interior diagonals are not equal. So it means this one is longer than this one. They are not equal. But the, the diagonals bisect each other at right angles. The diagonals bisect the interior angles. The diagonals are not equal. Okay. But you can say that this one is as equal as this one, and this one is as equal as this one. Okay. Let's start with the next one. Uh, the parallelogram. Now, if I look at the parallelogram, let's rather make it also blue. It has two pairs of parallel sides. So again, parallel, parallel. Its opposite sides are equal. So equal, 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 equal. Its opposite angles, just like this one. So if this one will be equal to this one, and this one will be equal to this one. Its diagonals bisect each other. Okay, so it means this, this, this one will be as big as this one, and this one will be as big as this one. But the diagonals are not equal. This one is longer than this one. Okay, and now a trapezium. Let's look at the trapezium. Now a trapezium, if I am going to look red again, it, it is not having a lot of properties. It has w at least one pair of, it's only having one pair of parallel sides. Okay, unless it's an isosceles trapezium, then these two sides will be equal. Okay, and then the last one, a kite. Let's look at the kite. There are two pairs of equal adjacent. So it means this side is as big as this one, and this side is as big as this one. Okay. The diagonals intersect at right angles. So this is making, oh, let's just redo that. That is 90. Oh, let me bring it up a little bit. That's 90. That's 9. So only this one, this one, and this one, the diagonals bisect at 90 degrees. Memorize that. It's going to help you in, if, in finding solutions. Okay of um, in finding the different angles. Now, um, solutions is more for equations, so let's rather say in finding the different angles. Okay, so then the last one, the diagonals intersect at right angles. One diagonal bisect the interior, interior angle. So it's this one that's equal to this one. This one is equal to this one. But it also bisect that line. So this line is equal to this line. Okay. You must study these properties before
before you start with the examples. Very important. Because this property is going to help you to find the answers of the angles. Okay, let's just look at one. Um, the figure shows a parallelogram. So now you, you, you must all think of all the properties of a parallelogram. Okay, then they say to you, ABC, where this is 66, E lies on DC, that's all right. Angle DA is 39, calculate angle DCB. So let's look, DCB. Now, can you remember what I said? The opposite angles will be equal. But let's first see, we're first going to find this angle, this angle. Now, how can we find this? Remember, this is parallel lines, so the co-interior angles. So if I want to find this angle, okay, let's just write it, angle DCB, DCB, this angle, okay, I see. I just want to show you. Because this is also parallel, we, we're going to work with this. So these angles will be supplementary. They will add up to 180. So this angle, which is DCB, plus this one will give me 180. So angle DCB will be 180 minus 66, which will be 114, and write it in. Okay, and then angle BAE, let's just see, BAE. Now, this is what I said to you. The opposite, this is one of the most important properties of a parallelogram as well as a rhombus. The opposite angles are equal. So basically, I can just say uh, this, this one, uh, plus this one will be equal to this one. So basically, I can just substitute that, and then I will say to find this one, 114 minus 39, and that will be 75 degrees. Okay. I want you to do try now 7, number A, B, and C. You can stop the video, and as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. The figure shows a parallelogram, A, B, C, D, where D, I, B, D, I, B is this. E lies on D, C, okay, such that E, B, C, E, B, C is equal to 22 degrees. Calculate angle A, D, where is it? A, D, E, this angle. Okay, now, if we start with that one, we're going to say that angle... We start at A. Angle A, D, E. A, D, E. So I'm, I'm going to do this. Can I just show you? This is parallel. So I'm working with that U. This, the co-interior angles will be supplementary. So A, D, E plus that 123 will be 180 supplementary. And my reason, it's my interior angles because A, B is parallel to D, C. That's my reason. Okay. And now I'm just going to say angle A, D, E is going to be 180 minus 1, 2, 3. And if I subtract that, I will get 57 degrees. And then angle A, B, E, A, B, E. E, it's this one I'm looking for. Okay, now, write this one in. This one is going to be 57. Now, again, the opposite angles of a parallelogram will be equal. So, therefore, I can say angle B, C, E, B, C, E. Okay, let's just find that one first, um, A, B, E. I just want to see A, B, E. So, okay, let's start. Angle B, C, E. If this is one, this is also opposite angle, so they will also be equal. So angle B, C, E equals 1, 2, 3 degrees, and the reason is the opposite angles of the parallelogram. Okay, now... Angle BEC, B, 
E C. Okay, so this is angle. B E C plus the one twenty three plus the twenty two is equal to one eighty. Okay, so I'm I'm looking for this one A B E. Um, let's just see A B E. Wow, I was really taking a very long road. Okay, but let's just go on. Doesn't matter. So basically, I can say that angle BEC is equal to 180 minus 123 minus 22. Okay, and that is going to give me 35. And I'm just going to write it in. So angle BEC, BEC, this one is 35. Okay. And now I'm going to say angle ABE. Okay, let's just see ABE. Now, what I did in this one, I was working with that. That's alternate angles. Okay, but you could have do it also with the opposite angles like the previous one. Okay, but there's more than one ro road to go to Rome. Okay, so angle A. B, E is equal to angle B, E, C is equal to 35. And that will be the alternate angles. And I'm just struggling with the pen, but that the reason is the alternate angles because A B oh this line is parallel to D C okay and then the last one number C I'm asking you B E D so let's just see B E D now, if this is 35, I can just use my straight line. So let's just move it up, and I can just say angle BED. Oh, this pin. Okay, usually at the end of the page, it's doing that. B, E, D. It's just going to be that straight line, so it's 180. Okay, let's just write. So it's 180 minus that 35. And that's going to give me an answer of 1, 4. Okay, let's just redo it. One. Okay, let's write it again. 1, 4. Five degrees, and that will be angle BED.